over. Last mission, last mission. The final boss mode. Boss mode. <laughs> but yo, man, well, not, enough about the past, yo. Um, yeah. This, so yeah, this, we this, time to move toward the future. Uh, updated yes, fight that's happening. Yes, yeah, so for once we have a one fight card week. Thank God. You know, it's like you know that one card can get all our attention. But they overfed us last week. week. Was that? They overfed us last week. You had a tank, yeah. a, a, a good tank. You know, pay per view card or well, card. I ain't. Gonna, it wasn't a work of fucking pay per view. And then Lomachenko had himself a decent card. You know, when you right. you get to the the top fifteen pound for pound level boxers, and yeah, Tank is like top fifteen. You know, he he might be at fifteen. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, Tank. Yeah, Tank is. I mean, I know. I mean, I know there's a pound for pound discussion going on with Tank right now for top ten, and that's something we can talk about when we actually do our pound for pound discussion. Yeah, and, but yeah. How about how about no? That's my no. How yeah. about no? He, yeah, I'm, I'm, he's, yeah, I'm he's still like a good quality win or two away from being top ten. I mean, look, you got niggas who don't want to make Oscar Valdez top pound for pound top ten. So and that would be me. That would be and, me. And, and right. if, that's not me. That's not me. Yeah, that, that's not me. I'm just saying it, it exists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, there's, there's a place. There's a place for everybody. I'm sure. I'm sure half of Twitter would be like, well. Well, well, how come Tank can't be top ten, but y'all put Ioka, the Japanese guy, top ten? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Ioka ain't make mine. He ain't make mine either. Yeah, he ain't make <laughs> take that up with, with with Ring Magazine, not me. And yeah. <laughs> like, we still got Ring Magazine questions. Like, get in line. <laughs> You know what I'm saying though, but uh, yeah, that's that. I mean, when we, when we go, when we talk about pound for pound discussion part later on that week, yeah, we'll definitely get more into the 10th, uh, the 11 15 range, you know, for sure. Like, you know, if Tank would be in there or not, and any top 10 discussion involving him. 15 and a half, <laughs> that too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, we have what like I said, we have we do have one more card to discuss, like I said, one card weekend. Of course, and there's a card that got better. We we mentioned it the last time we were on there. Of course, it's Chris Primetime Kobe. You know, unless you unless you know him as uh, Little B Hop, I still call him that. He's not little, he's not little B Hop. That's so nigga, I know he's not Little B Hop, but his that nickname is that, 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 that nickname caught me. So I was like, no, hey, no, no. We have to retire that. that. that we, I was, I was, I was, I was, be prepared I will to die on that hill. I, 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 I will die on that hill. We need to retire the little B Hop nickname. Stop. Well, he re- he retired it himself. He retired it himself. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So so I will I refuse. I will not allow him to still be called little B Hop when he. You want to you want to still call Muhammad Ali Cassius Clay? Exactly. Well, that's because the man changed his actual name. You know the government name. You know yeah. <laughs> So, oh, so, so, so the government has a say over what we call ourselves. Well, yeah, if you're legally call yourself Muhammad Ali, then I'm gonna call you Muhammad Ali. But if someone yeah. tells you and says, "Look, man, I'm not Beehive, I'm Prime Time, I'm not Lil Beehive no more." You know what? If he wants me to call him that, they could do what Marvin Hagler did. Make his first name or middle oh, name. Oh, oh, stop it! This oh. dude. Okay, I, I <laughs> let me get another one. Okay, when that when Daniel Jacobs was singing. Uh, don't call me Danny Jacobs no more. That's what my grandmother used to call me. That's when I was a kid. Call me Daniel. Hey, yo, he, Pete, did, I, did I call him Danny when we met him? I don't remember. <laughs> I honestly don't remember. I, I could believe that because at least at least Pat the size of at least Pat big enough to throw some of these niggas. I'm, if no, you say I, that I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I called him Danny Jacobs too because I always like I, I still call him Danny. I don't remember him saying don't call me Danny. Nah, he said that on the broadcast. He was cool as fuck, though. <laughs> yeah, he was. I do. I do remember him saying that shit. Like, they, I don't. They, I don't doubt it. I'm just saying. I always. I still call him Danny Jacobs. I've never heard him say. Nah, well, now I'll call him Daniel. Yeah. No, I, I did. Yeah, he did say that. Like uh, on some public stuff, but I think people still call him Danny after that. <laughs> yeah, like people just was like, man, nigga, you Danny Jacobs, the fuck. Yeah, that, that and then Danny don't even sound bad. Like when the motherfucker tell you, like, look, don't call me this dick, Danny. Don't call me. <laughs> Uh, it's just it, it's it's inconvenient. It's like it's like there's this football player, this quarterback, Mitch Trubisky, and he's like, "No, call me Mitchell." I'm like, "I'm not calling you Mitchell." Like, call you Mitchell. Like, you're, you're Mitch. Yeah, you're, you're Mitch. Mitch. What the fuck is going on? And, and if you argue anymore about it, it's gonna be 
bitch. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you're like, son like, of a bitch. Like, like, motherfucker, you don't even win games like that. Nigga, your name is Mitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? You don't get the you don't get the bitch. You should be you should be glad we not added the L to your fucking name, nigga. <laughs> Bars. 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 But yeah, but yeah, but but at least now this fight though, because originally Chris was going to be facing Gamboa, which we all, you know, when we, when we did the review, summer review of, of all the fights. Yawn. Yeah, we were all yawn about it. You know, we were not happening and, you know, particularly we had bars for the hype because, you know, Gamboa should not be no one's jobber to the stars at this point. Like, mm-hmm. you don't need to make the rounds from Tank to Haney to Colbert. Like, no. Nah, like, he had the defensive yeah. skills of Austin Trout to really make that jobber to the stars work. Yeah, like, like if you want to be a jumper to stars, you gotta be, you gotta at least be able to, you know, at least win one of these damn fights. And yeah, Gamboa win, is win, win rounds at least. I'm saying, right? And Gamboa is clearly past the where you, where, you, where you can't do that. So, so once, yeah. so once it turned out that dude got injured, injured rib or some shit like that, and then we got King Tug in the in the as his replacement. Now we got a fucking fight. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause uh King Tug, man, you know, you know them Mongolian fighters, man, them shit them them cats be super tough. Like they don't like you hit them in the face, they don't be they don't be changing their expression. Like they just like, okay, and I'm just gonna pray to this Buddha and I I'll pray I'll hit you back. Like that's all they do. Like so now we got a speedster who clearly has enough, you know, who clearly has it in him to sit down on his punches and get rid of someone. Versus someone with a pretty damn good chin and some power in his hands to boot. So, what are we thinking about this fight? Oh man, it's gonna be a good fight. I I, I like this fight. Uh, you know, Tug is Tug is a strong fighter. He's gonna bring it. So, it's gonna be interesting to see. He's gonna test. Colbert's grit, and we're gonna see what what Colbert is made of. Because Tug gave, you know, one Gary Russell Jr. a good fight. So, he did. you know, what I I'm mean, saying? I mean, he fell short because I mean, most people fall short to Gary Russell. You know, I mean, but but he gave a good account of himself. That's so, the guy who beat the shit out of Nakatani, though. Here we go oh again. Lord. You, all right, we, we, we're giving Nakatani too much shine. Uh, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting a gag order on him. Like, it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's, I think it's going to be a very good fight. But I think, um, I think Colbert in the end is going to show, you know, his skills and show, you know, his talent is a level above Tug. And I think it's going to be a, I think he's going to win by decision. Uh, competitive decision, but clear decision. Like what score are we talking about? Like a uh, 117, 111. All right. Pilot, what about you? Um, I think I'm going to go with Colbert by knockout. Actually. Mm. That's actually, I mean, that's actually a, Pretty. That's a that's, that's a, a ball. That's a ball one because Tug is tough. Tug is tough as well. No, he's tough. No, for sure. it's not going to be easy. But I, I think you know he'll get him out there late. I don't know. I just think. Nigga, I'd be super impressed if Chris Colbert actually knocks out. I mean, Colbert, he hard enough, and he he throws enough punches to make it happen, right? Yeah. yeah this ain't yeah. Turbo Fist just putting in a decision word like this. Colbert, we talking about. Colbert has been. Yeah, he's he's been getting like. Kind of when we first came up, he wasn't really a, like a power puncher. Right? He, you know, he was more of a boxer. But yeah, you know, the thing, the thing with Colbert though that I couldn't stand though, because he, I think he, I, I used to think he played with his food too much. Like, yeah, exactly, exactly. But then it seems like as as he's gotten older, he's gotten bigger and stronger, and you know, more, you know, not a knockout artist, but he's been he's been getting guys out of there lately. So I don't see yeah, that. like I mean, I think the, the Arbolita fight was definitely a step in the right direction because, like I said. You know, dude. I mean, he knocked out a noted puncher in his division, so it's just like, okay, you like, you know, you can, you clearly have enough pop to do it. Now, I want, I want to see more of that. Like, I don't want you to see you like, you know, you know, batting your food around and shit like that. And you know, and then bam, the decision. You know, we're going to a decision. Like, I want you yeah, to try I mean, to I mean, knock these dudes that, out. That could definitely happen. Like, I mean, you know, that could be a, a you know, you can get a bad performance. But I, I'm being optimistic here, and I'm just saying, they'll you know, put on the show. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a bull one. Yeah, that knockout. Because like I said, Mongolian fighters are hard to, to stop. <laughs> you got you like, 
Oh, you can... sure. No, no doubt, no doubt. Hey, yo, LB, what about you? I mean, I'm feeling, I'm, I, I can see what, I can see uh, what Pilot talking about with the knockout. I can see that happening. Like, because Colbert, especially if he wants to stay impressive, mm-hmm. I know he'll, he'll go for the knockout, but uh, Tug is tough. Hey, but uh, if it's not a knockout, we'll probably end up getting like a 118, 110 decision. Word. And I mean, and I, and I, I mean, I, I do think Kobe can probably win by decision. And I'm thinking probably maybe like a 116, 112 type of decision. But it'll be a competitive one, too. Just King Tug, I think probably the biggest thing for King Tug in terms of weaknesses is. It's not stamina. He he plays, but he, sometimes he kind of loses steam. Like you know, he'll he'll start strong, but then he'll lose steam. Like as soon as he gets like the mid rounds. That's why I can see where probably coming from with the late knockout. Like mm-hmm. if you start losing steam to a guy like Colbert or, or Fulton, like they put a lot of punishment on you, or they're capable of putting a lot of punishment on you. For now is right. not the time to be trying to just survive. Right, and I and I still remember his last fight, which he won by a split decision. And I remember thinking, like, huh, this fight was a lot clo- is a lot closer than I he should it should be, you know. Although I thought King Tug clearly won, but I was like, yeah, it, and it was mostly because I think King was taking too many rounds off. Like, he wasn't he blew steam or he takes some rounds off. And if a guy wasn't as scared of his power like that, you know, you have these really close ass fights. But I mean, but when at least when he does lose team, he does, he's not getting like wobbled all over the place or whatever like that. That's the that's the thing. So that's why that's why I'm sticking with the decision. Like I mean, I do think it'll be competitive though. But yeah, I think Kobe, Kobe will show another level with this one. Now, like I said, if he knocks out King Tug, I'll be super impressed. If he actually does it, I'll be really impressed. <laughs> you know, but this is but this is but this is the type of fights that I think someone if you're not trying to be if, if you're if you're moving from being a contender to, you know, holding a Reggie belt, at least, you know, at least give yourself some good competition to fight. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it made this, it made this made it a hell of a lot palatable to watch. And this fight's at 130, right? It's at 130, yes. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, because Colbert has one of the Reggie belts there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, t- and Target's moving up. Yes, yes, he is. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I mean, and then, and then the two like, and also there's also two other fights on there, and they're like I said, they're prospect fights. You know, we got uh, uh was it Mitchell Rivera? You know, twenty and 0, 13 knockouts. You know, he's you no, know, he's uh, he's in the co-main facing John Fernandez, who's twenty one and one, eighteen KOs. His only loss was to Shaky Foster, and that was like years ago. That was on Showbox. <laughs> that was a minute ago. <laughs> You know, and then after that, we and then we have another interesting fight. Uh, we have Darwin Price, who, if you remember, was giving Malik Hawkins all types of trouble until Price blew out his knee or some shit like that with his leg, and and uh, Malik Hawkins got an unfortunate TKO win on a showbox, and he'll be facing Richardson H- Hitchens, who Hitchens, however, last the last time he was out, oh, God, what what. I, he looked I, pretty. He looked pretty struggled the last time out. Yeah, yeah, he he did. Yeah, thank you. That's actually. I was trying to be a little bit nice, <laughs> but, he, <laughs> but you 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 absolutely right. He he looked completely. He looked a little struggled. So um, so yeah, he can't look. He can't look struggle again against this guy because Darren Price. You know he has something like Darren Price does. Yeah, Darren, Darren Price is actually solid. Like the thing is, for whatever reason. Dude, career been stagnating and it hasn't gone to the next level in a good minute. Yeah, and he's getting old too. Like he's 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 over thirty too. So like, I mean, yeah. Actually, like my my sister know that. Thing, so. Like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Word. So, so degree I, of separation. I, mean, I ain't you know. <laughs> ain't that really I can say about it? But I'm just saying, like I know, like. When I first started hearing about his name, he was throwing Madonna for the Broner fight. Shit. And I was seeing the clips and I was like, okay, this dude on point. Like, yeah. And like, just somehow, like, he wasn't getting the breaks he was supposed to get. 
you know, he was in welterweight, like, you know. And there's activity right. on the lower level at welterweight, like the friends level. And it should just say been moving for him. And then he finally gets that one fight on uh, PBC. Because I know he was signed with PBC for a long ass time. Oh, yeah, he, he, he was for a minute. Yeah, he's, yeah, that's he's what I'm saying. Like, 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 even guys like Jamal James and you guys and, and the, the, the lore may have gotten uh, to a certain level. Dudes like Sammy Velasquez came and went type shit. Right? <laughs> and it's like Darren, Darren Price, it don't seem like he ever got over that hump. And then when he gets on, he gets that TV date and he... And he's winning. And, and he's he winning, and knee. then he has the, the, the knee problem. Yeah. Yeah, and I hated seeing that, too, because dude... Yeah, that dude, shit broke my heart, man. Yeah, I mean, dude, dude was whooping some ass. He looked like he was about to end that shit, too. Exactly. And as a nigga with knee problems, that, that shit really... Whenever I see a knee problem fight, like, that shit always do it, do it for me. I'll be like, no... Yeah. <laughs> like, I, like it, it hurt to watch to rewatch uh, Sean Bay Mitchell Costa Zoom one. <laughs> Facts. And then that with the there's no crying in boxing. Like, <laughs> like yeah, he, like, he, everywhere he just, took an L that night. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, you, you, because let's say you hate to see someone not not have the type of momentum that they should be having, and you cl- you can clearly see that they're talented. So, I mean, knocking out. I mean, Richardson still has his he still has his zero. I mean, Richardson, for his most part, I mean, he can box. He doesn't. He doesn't. Just, he just doesn't have a lot of power. Like, I mean, I mean, I mean, he went. I mean, he nearly lost to Mendes in his last fight out. Like, that's not really a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but this it's a capable fight. Like, it's both guys can win this. Yeah. And like, like this is this is the the stagnating award. Like, this is the fight. Like, whoever wins is probably could probably get some real momentum into their career because. Darwin Price was like too skilled. He was too solid to to not been on the TV a couple of times. Yo, absolutely, yeah. So yeah, like this is you know just being as a somebody on the outside looking in type shit. Like yeah, well, like yeah, his whole career has came and went within that time. Yeah, so I just want to see dudes at least get to the ceiling they supposed to get to, or you know see if people really that good and, and, and get to the next level so we get some new fights, man. Right. And, and that's it. I mean, whether at, whether it's going to be at 140 or 147, depending on wherever he wants to go, I mean, 140, I mean, like I said, 140, PBC's 140 stable is low-key starting to build. So, like, I mean, they have some fighters there. You know, like... Yeah, like he make a name for himself. He could be fighting tank. Shit. Exactly. But yeah, it also. Like, I don't mind these because I don't mind these type of fights, you know. But they don't have to be on pay per view. But like, no, and, and this is why it's great. dangerous and, fights. And that's and that's why it's great to me that this shit is regular Showtime. So you know, it's an opener. It, it has a has a has a TV day has a has a clear spot that people will be watching. So that's why I, that's why I'm hoping that he actually does. You know, you know, he actually does. You know, come through and get you know get that get that good win. Over another prospect, and it's hard. And I hate saying that Darren Price is a prospect still because he's he's getting up in age. He's like thirty or thirty-one, some shit like that. You know? Yeah, but, yeah, that, yeah. It might be like 33, 34. Yeah. So it's like I mean, you know, he, he doesn't. Time is not on his side. I want him to at least be able to at least challenge for a Reggie belt at least. Yeah, you yeah, know? exactly. <laughs> You know, <laughs> saying that you former title challenger is better than saying you know former contender. Yeah, exactly. Or fringe contender. Or fringe contender. Like, what the yeah. fuck is fringe? Like, people in the sport who know are going to be like, okay, that means he was maybe top 15, top 20 in the world. Okay, respectable. Right. You know, the average person is going to be like, what the fuck? Like, what? You was a playoff team, nigga? Like, <laughs> you, you didn't make the cut? <laughs> so, hold on, you're not even AC. <laughs> you're in the bubble playing. That's what you <laughs> yeah, so, so you know, getting title shots and, and taking certain fights, you know, they paramount to your career, especially if you don't have no type of social media identity. And, you know, remember with boxing is a sport where if you just know boxing, people are going to, your sport going to say you're the boxing guy. Imagine yeah. being an actual fucking boxer, professional fighter, and people still refer you to, to you as the boxing guy. Yeah. So yeah, 
You, you go somewhere in the sport, motherfuckers gonna call you champ. They do. And if they don't, they just call you, I mean, they just call you, yeah, they just gonna call you champ. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you'll be the boxing guy or you'll be Bob. <laughs> or, you know, you'll be Leon or 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 or, <laughs> or, 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 or Travis or something. So you'll just be whatever <laughs> fucking name you have. <laughs> Real facts, though. But you'll, yeah, you'll be but Greg I, or some shit. <laughs> you know, but I'm definitely I'm definitely excited about this card now. It's just like okay, like we got a good main event. We got like two contender type fights on there. That's all we ask. Though. Like I said, PBC has been killing these type of. Uh, matchmaking like lately on Showtime not Fox though yeah, definitely not Fox but Showtime for sure so yeah I'm definitely looking forward to that it'll be Saturday night 9 o'clock I believe hopefully it's 9 o'clock because they don't need to be ha- having this at 10 o'clock though. like 9 o'clock we good like I don't know not with no three fights yeah no I'll with that might go to distance and like, you don't know what the fuck could happen oh. yeah no it's like no nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure, hopefully they hopefully they get that shit right um, but uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much about it in terms of what we you know what we need to you know t- discuss today. You know, so, you know, definitely a good cast or whatnot. You know, it was definitely entertaining. The jokes and whatnot was flowing as usual. Uh, so yeah, final thoughts, uh, pilot. Final thoughts. Uh, you know, you know what it is. Ring Ding Radio over here. Uh, it was a good weekend of of you know leftovers from Lopez and Charlo leftovers and a little bit of. You know, other shit sprinkled in, so good week in the boxing. You know, next week should be good, and you know, so oh, nigga, you, you smoke louder than you talk, bro. Like, <laughs> louder, <please. laughs> I don't know the microphone, but mic's fucked up. Oh, uh, you know, Ring Game Radio, let's get it. Summer is gonna be some good boxing, and that's all I got. Yes, sir. Okay, A-O-P. see, I heard all that. See, okay, that's what's up. What's up? You made this nigga get hyper. <laughs> <laughs> AOP, what about you, bro? I mean, you already know what it is. You know, we had a good weekend of boxing. Um, more boxing, more boxing. We just need more dope nights of boxing, but not all crammed in at once. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. you know, we got a lot on the plate coming. I, I, I want to be able to eat it all and not throw up after, you know, from from gorging too much in one week. So. <laughs> So yeah, you got, you got the, the lineup is coming. So you know, what I'm saying we're, I'm, I'm happy. I'm hoping all the fights are good. I hope everybody enjoys all the fights. And other than that, just keep it boxing. Ring Gang Radio. You know where to find us at ringgangradio.com, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. You know the vibes. We got some stuff coming out soon. Part episode three of the cartoons coming out real, real soon. You know, what I'm saying be on the lookout for that. And we got you know some other stuff on the way. So just be on the lookout. Absolutely. Hey, LB, final thoughts? Oh, man, you know, Ring Game Worldwide. Just follow us on Podomatic. Uh, you already know what the deal with Podomatic, Spotify, or Anchor. Shout out to Anchor. Yes. And subscribe to the YouTube. Uh, share, comment, like. Get your friends on. It's the best podcast out. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We live this shit, sleep, and live boxing. Yes. So that's all it is. That's what it's all it's about. Um, I think Pat working on a Forgot Fade article. Still yes, got the cartoon working. Um, I'm finishing up the top five album and the logistics done. Uh, pretty much, you know, we got a lot of shit cooking, you know, when it boil over, you know, we'll put it out. So, you know, we did it. Uh, probably be uh, make sure y'all check out the Pound for Pound list on the website let's go to ringgameradio.com um, man you go to Pound for Pound list we'll be having an episode about that soon coming up uh, yep. so yeah uh, y'all make sure y'all check out my review for the um, boxing anime Assess this the Roman Fighter y'all check that out uh, I don't sleep on that that shit is, that shit is dope as fuck don't sleep. If you got hands, if you ever box or train, you'll you'll fuck with that animal. Just eleven episodes is quick. And yeah, you enjoy it if you fuck with all the same shit. Other than that, um, 
Yo, yo, man. I'll bring it back to Pat. Yes, sir. Yeah, so I mean, I don't have, I don't, I don't have much to add on, you know, other than what the brothers already said. Other than yeah, definitely, you know, sub, sub to our YouTube, and then make sure you tell your friends, and their friends can sub so that we can all be friends. You know, I always say that because, like I said, that we do this shit for y'all. You know, and like you, 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 and it's in your right to hear some of the best shit out here on boxing, and we are that shit. So yeah, you need to do that. So uh, for myself, Pasco Braden, I'm a representer. For LB Shuttleworth, the God, the Go Artist, you know, for King People, Dega P, and for Conscious Pilot, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So, until next time, peace. <laughs>